night, honey. I'll see you later. Oh, I'll call you after work. See you, Charlie. Hey, Lynn, has your son picked a college yet? Uh, no. Why? Well, I was just wondering if he were to choose between, say, <laughs> North Carolina and Kentucky, which one would you encourage him to pick? Keeping in mind that as an out-of-state resident, Kentucky is two and a half times more expensive. I'd still go with Kentucky. It's a better school. Interesting. Well, I hope he gets in. Thanks. Bye. Bye. What was that all about? Huh? Since when do you care about her kids' education? Young people are our future, Alan. I care about them all. <laughs> oh, please. The only young people you care about are sliding down a pole to grab dollar bills out of your mouth. <laughs> Those aren't dollar bills. Those are 20s. <laughs> When did you become such a cynic? When did you become so interested in the comings and goings of my girlfriend? Or what are kids up to? Whoa, 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 chill. No, no, I will not chill. And what was all that about liking having her around? Nothing, I like having her around. Yeah, but around what? <laughs> Excuse me? I think when you say around, you mean under. Don't go down that road, Alan. Oh, oh, why shouldn't I go down that road? Is it slippery when wet? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? What's gotten into you? Oh, I think a better question would be, what's gotten into you? I mean, who have you gotten into? <laughs> Alan, Alan, listen to me very carefully. I have not had sex with your girlfriend. Oh, so it's still in the planning stage. No. But you do want her. No. Why not? What's wrong with her? <laughs> Nothing. She's terrific. So you do want her. Alan, believe me, when it comes to Lindsay, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Uh-huh, uh uh-huh. That's what you said about Wendy Friedman and Kathy Bell and Amy Driscoll. Who? They're all girls you stole from me. What are you talking about? I never stole anybody from you. <laughs> Wendy Friedman, sixth grade, Halloween party. I went to get her punch. When I came back, you were bobbing for her apples. Innocent fun. Oh, Kathy Bell, ninth grade. I brought her home to work on our science project. I went to the bathroom. When I came back, you were teaching her French. Harmless horseplay. <laughs> Amy Driscoll, sophomore year. First girl let me get to second base. All right, her I nailed. <laughs> wait, 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 you nailed her? Everybody nailed her. That was her thing. It took me six months just to touch her right boob. Wow, you really missed the signals, didn't you? What signals? Well, in my case, it was her taking off her sweater and saying, quick, do me before Alan gets back from his trumpet lesson. Clarinet. I didn't have the lip for trumpet. Apparently, you didn't have the lip for Amy Driscoll, either. All that was a long time ago. You're with Lindsay now, and what's important is that I wish you both a long and happy life together. Really? From the bottom of my heart. Man, 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 man. Man.